Hurricane Isaac slowly is winding its way inland, a slow moving monster rainmaker that stretches 200 miles from its center. It's moving about eight miles an hour. It's slow, which is mm -hmm. not good for rainfall totals. Isaac did make landfall in southeast Louisiana last evening, about 645 Central Time, southeast of New Orleans, and has already triggered some coastal storm surges. But the worst flooding could be still ahead, with Isaac predicted to now dump as much as 20 inches of rain. We begin with ABC's Taman Bradley there in New Orleans. Good morning, Taman. Good morning to you, Rob and Paula. Isaac made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane in Louisiana with 80 mile per hour winds. The city of New Orleans this morning is empty. People are not out in the streets. They are hunkered down weathering this storm. For your own safety, the safety of others, you know, use common sense and don't go outside and put yourself or others in a dangerous position. The concerns this morning are the heavy wind gusts and the torrential rainfall. This is a very dangerous storm and with those waters rising as quickly as they could be, a loss of life is a very real possibility. This is not going to be over quick. This is not a fast moving storm. The city of New Orleans and other parts of Louisiana are preparing for possible flood conditions. A warning came all the way from the White House with President Obama telling people to take this storm very seriously. Uh, now is not the time to tempt fate. Uh, now is not the time to dismiss uh, official warnings. Uh, you need to take this seriously. There have been evacuations in parts of Louisiana as well as Florida. The storm is moving in with a vengeance. It's already having an enormous economic effect with golf rigs being shut down, 93% of oil production in the Gulf of Mexico having to shut down. That's more than a, a million barrels a day not being produced. This intense weather, it's expected to last all morning with no relief in sight. Robin Paula, back to you. Hours and hours yeah. to go, yeah. A look now at exactly where Isaac is at this particular moment and where it's heading next. Our live coverage continues from the AccuWeather Forecast Center and meteorologist Jim Dickey. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Rob and Paula. Well, uh, of course, Isaac hasn't moved very much. It did make landfall earlier on yesterday evening, but then it moved back over open water, and that's where Isaac sits. Still a Category 1 hurricane, still winds at 80 miles per hour, and pressure is sitting right about 968 millibars and uh, continues to drop here. So uh, this is a tornado watch. That remains in effect as well. Anytime you have a landfalling tropical system, you can spin up a weak tornado in there. So that's adding on to all the other impacts we're having right now. Rainfall, steady. Heavy New Orleans on through uh, Mississippi into the Mobile area. You see all of these bands feeding in from offshore, bringing torrential rainfall through really the entire expanse of this precipitation shield. Uh, we're seeing winds uh, at tropical storm force gusts higher than that. So this is the worst of Isaac going to continue here through the day. Still a category one hurricane gusts over 90 miles per hour, especially in southeastern Louisiana going forward here. Storm surge, many spots six to nine feet and that flooding rainfall. Many spots over a foot of rain. This bullseye here, southern Mississippi, southeastern Louisiana, 15 inches plus. And the longer this sits here, the heavier that rain will be. And Jim, I don't mean to catch a cold on this one. I'm looking at some tweets from my former colleagues in New Orleans. Apparently there was a 1 a.m. report out that said the system has pretty much uh, stalled there over southeast Louisiana, meaning it's just parked over that area, City. dumping even even more rain. Can you confirm that a little bit or at least talk about uh, the rainfall totals then if this thing just happens to sit there for for a while over that area? Oh, yeah, well. Like I said, it, it did make landfall and then it made a little shift to the west, southwest, went back over open water. There's high pressure uh, that's sitting over portions of Minnesota and it was thought that it would be able to push its way on shore, but it's having a very tough time doing that. So yes, more or less stalled out. The longer it sits there, the longer that rain will continue to uh, pile up. So I think that 20 inch mark, uh, that's likely going to be reached in a lot of spots. Mm, all right. Thanks mm. to meteorologist Jim Dickey live again for us at AccuWeather. And far and wide, as he mentioned, uh, the rain could extend up to 1,200 miles and like you said, uh, parts of the Midwest as well. And it could go all the way up to the Great Lakes. This mm -hmm. was a storm the size of the state of Texas, okay? So that yep. gives you any idea. So this is not just a New Orleans storm. You folks in the middle of the country are going to feel some effects from this as well. And the good news, as Jim pointed out earlier too, was that some of that rain is going to go to drought-stricken states, which is good news, but certainly uh, not good news for folks <laughs> further south who've already been saturated. So, of course, we will keep an eye on that throughout the morning and stay tuned for more hurricane coverage in a second. Insight from an award-winning report in New Orleans who knows that city extremely well and what a hurricane can do to it. That's coming up later in this half hour. Pulitzer Prize winning reporter Mark Schlefstein is going to talk to us.